السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر کامران یو آر ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل پولٹری ود ڈاکٹر کامران آئی ول بی ان ٹچ ود یو آل دوز کیسز آئی کنسلٹ آن ڈیلی بیسز پولٹری شیڈ پرابلمز اینڈ دیئر سولیوشن ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از اباؤٹ ٹاکسیسٹی ان چکنز آئی ریسیو دا کال فرام اے سپروائزر اینڈ آئی ڈرو مائی سیلف ٹو دا شیڈ دیئر ہی ٹولڈ می دیٹ دا برڈز آر بہیونگ لو اینڈ ریڈیوسنگ دیئر فیٹ ہی سیڈ There seems to be a problem, there seems to be a toxicity problem in my birds. <clears throat> so what is to toxicity? Let's talk about the toxicity. Let's talk about toxicity. Toxicity or mycotoxins are produced by fungus. If there is any moisture available or of moisture present in grains before the manufacturing of the feed, <clears throat> or uh, at your shed if storage conditions are poor and higher humid conditions are there then the fungal infection chances uh, might be increased there's a two types of fungus for field fungus and story fungus but we will not indulge into these topics rather i will discuss with you people about the toxicity and how to diagnose the toxicity how it affects the economics of your shed and how it affects the bird's health and its growth and what is its treatment there are two ways to check the to diagnose the toxicity first you have to visit the shed physically but in shed apparently there are not enough signs and symptoms uh, of toxicity when you but when you open a bird i mean when you do a postmortem you will find in large liver having bright red color or whitish gray spot on the liver in severe cases there are hemorrhages in proventriculus and gizzard sores are also present inside the mouth and esophagus in severe cases obviously <clears throat> and you will see swollen kidneys reddish bursa and sometimes there might be enteritis present in the intestinal mucosa in any disease we always find the cause of death reason behind it that death of a bird toxicity not only disturbs the fcr the economics and the mortality ratio of your bird but most importantly it changes the blood chemical structure means it changes the shape of the blood cells so they are now unable to perform the function properly for example wp wbcs which are responsible for the immunity or the antibodies production they are unable to produce antibodies so there will be no immunity hence your bird will be in state of immunosuppression and when rbcs are affected their capacity to take the oxygen decreases and the bird feels suffocation and there will be and the bird feels suffocation and then it will start panting or open mouth uh, breeding when you see a bird suffering from toxicity it will be breathing by stretching the neck upward like you are seeing in the video when you see a bird like this first thought comes in mind that uh, there has to be ib influenza or ort disease but in post mortem you will see there are none sign of mucus in trachea or air circulitis and any other respiratory infections because there is a toxicity which has decreased the oxygen carrying capacity the oxygen carrying capacity of the bird and it feels suffocation second thing is the toxicity increases the viscosity of the blood and it gets thicker because the d because d shaped blood cells create create hurdles in blood flow inside the veins so the heart has to pump with more energy to pass the blood through the arteries hence heart is exhausting Uh, which leads to the panting just like a man with higher cholesterol starts running ends up uh, having severe open mouth breathing called panting and the heart attack or stroke is there in post mortem you will see blood coagulated around the heart and liver and due to the exertion epicardium is swelled with yellowish exudate in it it is very slow process but toxicity inclines your bird towards the respiratory problem heart problem and the immunosuppression if the bird survives these mentioned problems its immunity will be so low that every bacterium like e coli salmonella crd and other viral infections are imminent and the bird will 
and the bird will be down and rate of mortality will be increased how we how we will treat this toxicity in first week of broiler layer and domestic bird it is difficult to diagnose toxicity even you didn't know the source of mycotoxins but whenever there is enough symptoms of the very problem do these steps two steps two steps are there using feed graded yeast based toxin binders or water soluble one for at least 8 hours a day most people use one or two bags of feed pre mix or feed graded toxin binder and it's totally wrong if the source of mycotoxins are present in the feed you have to use toxin binders in all feed bags for example there is a confirmation of mycotoxins if you have confirmed that there is a mycotoxins available in your bird and the present in the feed so the dose in, is 100 grams per bag per day so total of 1600 bags uh, you will be needing seven to eight bags of toxin binders to cover the mycotoxins in water seven to eight hours usage is recommended to avoid the toxicity the second point is uh, that you have to store feed bags at your shed properly stacks stack bags above the ground so there will be no connection between the bags and soil each stack has to be separated from others proper ventilation is very much required to avoid the moisture inside the storage room <clears throat> most important point disinfect the feed lines before placing the bird if you disinfect water lines before as you disinfect water lines before chicks before vaccination and every weeks every week during the flocks it is very simple to clean the feed line too and uh, why it is necessary imagine there is always 55 percent humidity in the shed when the feed passes through the feed lines chances of fungal infection is also present so the fungal infection is there no matter what quality of feed you are purchasing uh, what quality of feed you are using chance of infection is always there until it's clean very simple process take whole corn and maize grains 50 kg per feed line there's a four to five feed lines in the shed soak them with any disinfectant pass through the lines you will be surprised to see the raw material coming from these feed lines I repeat this process uh, two and three times the lines will be dis disinfect properly and chance of toxicity will be reduced 90 percent do this after the flocks and before placing the chicks press okay if you like the video please press the like button and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and press the bell icon also as you will not miss any notification of my channel and i will be posting this type of content on a regular basis remember me in your prayers till next video allah hafiz